Yo, as y'all can see, the camera looks way clearer, way better. As you see, I got my phones back from the police, all my mounts, all my accessories, all my GoPro stuff, my bags, my title, my iPad, literally everything back from the police seven months later. If you don't know, if you're new to this channel, seven months ago, Detroit police raided my house, took all electronics for the investigation. And yeah, seven months later, I'm just now getting all my cameras and everything back from the police. Also, uh, they did take my car. I already got that back though. Must also, y'all, one thing I do want to include, a lot of people know that a lot of my clothes, shoes, money, chargers, cologne, you name it. A lot of stuff that was stolen out of my room when the police raided my house that day. The police did not take any of that. Somebody had personally went into the house when the police left that house. They left the door down. Somebody went in there and stole everything of mine. But yeah, I just wanted to advise y'all and let y'all know that no, I didn't get any of my shoes back. No, I didn't get any of my clothes back, which is a bummer, but it's all materialistic stuff. I can get all of that back. I can get money back, clothes back, shoes back. Can get everything back, so it's not really a big deal, but I just wanted to let y'all know that no, I didn't get any of that back. So now, uh, today to current life. Uh, my car is currently in the shop. It'll be in there for probably another week or two, they said. They just now wrote the, wrote the estimates up for insurance. And the insurance will cover all the damages and replace everything basically that's messed up on the car that they messed up, broke, tore, uh, everything really. But yeah, look y'all. I got my, all my phones back and everything. We're gonna get a lot more better footage. As y'all see, I'm on the camera. Looks way better, literally. But yeah, I'm just really letting y'all know. I really did get all my stuff back from the police. A lot of people said I wasn't gonna get it back. Here's my old GoPro. I made sure I'm gonna put a lot more better footage out for y'all. Now that I have all my cameras and mounts and this goes on the windshield, put the GoPro on there. I had just got this hoodie yesterday, y'all. Y'all, let's turn this GoPro on there. Let's see the last footage that was on this GoPro. <laughs> <laughs> Yo, look what the last video on here is. This one we had went sledding a while ago. I remember this. Y'all never even seen this video. Hold on, I gotta show y'all a clip. When I went down the hill and jumped over this big old uh, snow hill with a with a sled on, jumped it. I'm about to find the video for y'all. Hello. Hello? Yeah, I know y'all see just that number just called randomly. It's always random numbers calling my phone. That's gonna be weird. Y'all, here it go. My bad. If I can get the light off the. Here it go. <laughs> Yo, I jumped the whole hill, bro. That jump really did hurt, though. I'm not gonna lie, I was in the air like a lot. Look, I'm about to show y'all. Like, I was really in the air, bro. I really caught air and I landed on my butt, bro. That jump really did hurt. <laughs> but yeah, y'all, I got my GoPro back. I really did. Uh, I really could have just wanted to go buy. All new stuff, but it was like I knew I was getting my stuff back. I just didn't know when and I really didn't know it was gonna take this long to get my stuff back But it's all good. I got it back as y'all see me I always try to keep a smile on my face, but y'all from the last video a lot of people have been saying that I Was lying and nobody really stole my car. I mean y'all can say whatever y'all want I mean it's, it's it's social media everybody's gonna say what they want whether it's right or wrong, but why would I want to work with the police and do all that extra stuff and get my car towed and pay the money and all this other stuff just for y'all, like just for content. Uh, stuff like this really doesn't slow me down. Stuff like this really motivates me and, and makes me lock in even more and, and grind even more. Like stuff like this really doesn't like slow me down at all. So if somebody wants to steal my car or do something stupid or something happens to my life, I'm always gonna learn something from it. I don't ever wanna just take an ill. I always take it as a lesson. I always take everything as a lesson. 
and learn from everything and grow from everything. That's really the best thing to do in life. I just want to take lessons and not L's. I really don't sit like this and talk to y'all about life, but I really do want to just tell y'all, like, why would I just sit there and lie and why would I do this and that? But yeah, long story short, why would I do all that for just some attention? And yeah, look, vision way clear. Y'all can see me way better. I did just get a haircut also, as y'all can see. Literally sitting in the, uh, I haven't even left the haircut place yet. I'm just sitting here and I just wanted to talk to y'all. I was looking at my camera like, let me, let me record something, man, because y'all don't know that I really did get all my stuff back. But no, for real, y'all, I just wanted to make a quick video, really, just to let y'all know what's going on, get y'all a little update on the car. Like I said, car in the shop, the car getting fixed. Everything on the car is getting replaced. Car will be in there for a couple weeks. I'ma just focus on me, stay out the way, stay out of trouble. Maybe I'll pick y'all up again, get y'all another update before I pick my car up. I don't want to not upload for two weeks. I got to upload something for y'all. Let me know if y'all want to see something. But yeah, man, I'll pick y'all up soon. I'll update y'all soon on my life. As soon as I have time and as soon as there's something that you guys should know, I'll make sure I pick up my camera and give y'all that video. But until then, make sure y'all take care of y'all selves. Make sure y'all be safe. And I'll see y'all in the next video. Peace out.